Okay, so as you can see, it's going. And when you look at your phone, the blue bar should be doing the same thing. So again, remember that for the for the PDA, you're going to choose the the code file. For the phone, you're going to choose the modem file, the file that says modem on it. And for the CSC, you're going to pick pick the uh, CSC. In this case, the one from Russia, the one that has an R in it. So it's almost done. This process should take like a minute and a half, no more. If it doesn't, then something went wrong. And as long as you don't see a blue bar, you should be able to disconnect. And, and you remember, you can damage your phone from doing this, so be careful. All right, so we're done. Now it's going to restart. with brand new firmware. Now this is going to take a little while since it's the first time it's booting with the new firmware, so don't be alarmed. It usually won't take this long. Now, I want you guys to remember that this is, you're always taking a risk when you do these things. Some people have bricked their phones. And, yes, you just, I mean, make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you've read enough. And, as you can see, the phone's going to start up in Russian. Because we flashed the Russian firmware. But, this is no problem. This should, this is going to go away once we insert the, the SIM card over here. So yeah, let's just let it boot, make sure everything works. So, okay, so we go in, and there we go. We have new firmware, and now let's restart the phone and insert the SIM card. All right, so. I'm going to insert the SIM card and then I'll come back to you guys. Just put it in right there. And, and now start up your device again.
This time it shouldn't take as long as the uh, first firmware boot, as you can see. That was pretty quick. So now it's still in Russian, but once it recognizes the SIM card, it's going to change to English. Just look up here and you'll see. See, media is kind of running. That's already in English. And... Okay. Media scanning completed. And let's go ahead and see. Okay, so let's remove that and see everything else in English already. So that's perfect. Everything should be working. And there you go. You flashed the firmware. And just I want to remind you that there's risks to doing this. You could break your phone. Um, I've had a couple of big scares myself. But if you if you know what you're doing and you read well and just make sure you're comfortable doing it and you should be fine it's not a very complicated process it's just one program a couple of files and just setting it up correctly and it should the rest does just works by itself okay one final thing before we finish the video just check right here the firmware version so as you can see right there we have i9000XW JG1 alright that's it for flashing a firmware I hope this helps some of you guys and yeah good luck